Oh, trust me. They knew you were here. They're just <laughs> New Orleans up in Green Bay right now, though. So uh, let's start off with your health. How, how are you feeling? How's the ankle? Um, where are you at percentage-wise? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm back at 100%. Uh, you know, blessed, blessed to be out there. So never take anything for granted. Uh, that's for sure. So you're full go today. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, tell us about your fall. You know, obviously everyone's competing, right? But uh, what are you trying to make you better at? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's a big focus. Um, you know, we've both been in uh, quarterback. You know. Uh, competitions and um, you know I think we both learned it, it doesn't matter what the other person does you know I've said that before uh, many times and you know there's no bad blood between me and Jaden uh, you know we're good friends we root for each other um, you know we worry about how we can uh, improve ourselves because you know it's a long season we know how it goes you know we just want to put uh, the offense as a whole in the best position we can so you know we can all win games I don't know if I read this and it was accurate or I just read it but did you say that you want to break away from that gunslinger uh, label is that something you actually said and is that something you feel yeah um, I mean that's something I've said before um, I think it got lost in translation a little bit um, you know as far as you know I'm still gonna you know take shots and uh, any quarterback should you know when, when they're given to you though I think is the biggest thing that I've learned is uh, take them when they're given to you take them when you're supposed to take them and um, just continue to lead the offense and move the chains is what I've been taught my whole life. So. What did you learn out of last year's I mean, games and actions you saw? I mean it was definitely an interesting season you know a lot went on uh, especially being a true freshman so but I learned a lot um, from the past staff from Max uh, Miles, you know, I learned a lot from those guys, and um, you know, I, I'll cherish some of those moments and some of those memories, you know, from my whole career. As far as football, anything that you t you took away that you worked on over the summer? Then? Um, I think learning in different situations, being in different environments. You know, I'm a coach's kid, uh, so my father's been in the SEC a lot, so I've been in the the cr uh, as crazy as the environments can get. You know, I've been in Tiger Stadium on the opposite side, and I've been in the swamp, you know, I've been in all these places, so I wouldn't say that, you know, the moments were too big for me, um, but I learned a lot of just, you know, being on the field and, and zoning in on that situation and not worrying about everything else going on, so. I asked Jaden this question, uh, same for you, just if you were building a resume, what would you put at the top? These are the things that I do well, um, football-wise. Um, I mean, I think the biggest thing for both of us um, and what we've been working on and what we've been learning a lot about is, uh, you know, just lead, leading and you know being being one unit being together uh, because at the end of the day all that matters is that LSU wins on Saturday so what's uh, what's it been like since coach Kelly came aboard and new staff has come aboard to take you to this point right now yeah it's been awesome um, you know a, a, a culture flip I guess you could say um, you know that's no diss to coach O. I love him um, and I love the old staff and everything that they they did for us and I think it was great um, Coach Kelly kind of has a different way of doing things, and um, you know it's it was new for us. And you know I think once we kind of bought in and started to understand it, it, it really helped us out a lot. Um, I think it made people from the top of the roster to the bottom of the roster all together buy in more, and um, you know all focused on one goal. So this competition, it's such a long season. You play against so many hard hitting defenses. Do you kind of think, hey, they're going to need both of this at some point, right? Uh, I mean, like I said before, you, you try not to think about it like that. You know, you just think about if I'm in, then, you know, I think Jaden would say the same. You know, he's going to support me. If Jaden's in, then I would say the same and I'm going to support him. You know, like I said, we're focused on one goal and that's for LSU to win games. So. What's, what's he do well? I mean, He's a hell of a player. Uh, oh, I don't think I can cuss yeah. on the team. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a heck of a player. Um, you know, he's he's great with his feet. He's got a great arm. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I take away from watching Jaden every day, and so. Does Mike and, and Brian want y'all to have that escapability, that mobility into your game, or you, you feel like you're rolling out more now than ever? I mean, I think the style of their offense um, is definitely a little a little bit more mobile. Um, instead of just a base pro style drop back type offense um, and you know but we do a lot of both is what I love so much about this offense is there's mobility but there's also sitting back there and slinging it so you know it's a very complex offense and it makes you think a lot but I love it because it challenges me each day make sure I'm on top of everything you know I never go out there in, in the gray area with things because you, you'll get lost so something I love about what they do and, and their scheme it's just a question for clarification I don't expect that they're giving you a weekly like update on where you both stand, or all three of you stood before. Uh, is it just really about you and the things that you need to improve each week? How, how are they making you better, I guess, as the competition progresses? 
yeah, I think they work on, you know, there's obviously each of us have things we have to work on. And I think they know that. I think we know that. And, you know, we focus on what we can control, you know, what we're worried about, you know, what I'm worried about, what I'm focused on every single day. You know, what am I working on today? What am I, can't get focused on what I got tomorrow or what's going to happen after practice. It's just what am I focused on today? And I think Jaden would say the same. So, How important is the scrimmage Wednesday in terms of? It's just another practice. It's the mindset you got to have, right? Um, just another opportunity to step in between the two lines and go play football. Uh, you know, the game doesn't change just because it's a, wind day, uh, a scrimmage, you know. Uh, a scrimmage in a game is practice reps. So, you know, if you think about it that way, then you're always prepared. So, I didn't ask him, but uh, I wanted to ask you, just kind of brag on your receivers. It seems like you've got, yeah. you know, yeah. Baskin Robbins, kind of a different yeah. for everyone. Right? Yeah, no, it's, 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 it feels good as a quarterback going into a football game, knowing that uh, it doesn't matter what happened, but whoever you throw the ball to is going to go get it. Uh, you know, we've got some unbelievable receivers. Um, tight ends are stepping up well, running backs too, and the whole line's coming together. So I'm really excited. Um, you know, talking just about the receivers, those guys, those guys are studs. You know, they're going to go make plays. 50 uh, 50 ball is not a 50 50 ball, it's a 100 to 0 ball. That's how I feel about it um, with them. So, you know, you get a one on one matchup with those guys, and, and you can take the shot, and I feel really, really good about taking that shot. So, does it, does it feel a little different with sevens out there? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, wearing that number, it means something to him. Um, and I think it means something to us too, because we know, you know, he knows, and he's stepped up awesome and done a great job as a leader, and um, great job of making plays. So, yeah, definitely feels a little different. Who's maybe okay. elevated themselves in that room? Obviously, a lot of people talk about Malik, right? But like, is there someone that's really you feel like, man, that dude from spring to now is really kind of turned it up? I think they all they all have turned it up a notch. Um, you know, they've all been being in the system for a spring, you know, it was a new system for all of us. It wasn't just difficult on me, Jaden, you know, it's difficult on everybody. I mean, even the receivers and the running backs and the whole line learning the new protections and how they're sliding and, and the different gap schemes and stuff like that. So I think they've all elevated, you know, as you get into a system, you know, a spring install and a summer install plus a fall install, you know, your third time installing it, things start to come faster. And so I think that all of them as a unit have just gotten better and better at learning their process and, and you see the results for sure. So. Here, I'm sorry. Uh, if I could ask you about some of the defensive side of the ball, Kobe Richardson comes over from McNeese and some people may say, oh, he, this is a big step, but apparently he's running with the first team. I mean, what have you seen thrown against him or at practice? Yeah, he's played really well. Um, you know, he's done a great job. I think our defense is, is really scary. Um, you know, not I'm saying I'm scared. I'm saying as in like if you watch those guys out there, you're like, okay, this is real. Um, our D line is ridiculous. Uh, you know, all those guys are first rounders. Feels like, um, and you know, from top to bottom, I feel like from the secondary down to the box, they're, they're, we just got a lot of very very talented defensive players. So, I feel good about third downs on the other side of the ball this year. So, can you think back to sorry. I was going to say, how involved is your dad in your game and just like what are some of the things he's telling you? What have you learned from him? Uh, we have a great relationship. Um, it's something special to me. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more of, you know, he, he lets me get coached by my coaches. Uh, he's never been a dad to try and step in or get in the way or, or, or get my coaches upset with me because I'm listening to him instead of them. It's never been like that. Um, it's more of the mental support aspect of, tell me what happened. And I tell him what happened. He said, well, what did coach say? And I tell him this, and he's like, good. And then, or if I'm like, I, dad, I don't understand what he's saying. He's like, well, what he's trying to tell you is blah, 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 blah. And I think that's the biggest part for me is uh, sometimes people think it coaches kids and they think that, oh, I'm just going to do what my dad says. No, my dad is, is fully in support of Coach Sloan, Coach Kelly, Coach Dimbrock. He thinks they're great. Um, and so I get to bounce kind of ideas and thoughts off him. And it's almost like double feedback. So it's awesome. Have they told you that Jaden was going to be the starter? Have they told you that? No. Oh, uh, man, I, I ain't heard nothing about that. Uh, like I said, we're focused on winning games. So yeah, you down. probably know more than I know about mm -hmm. the situation. So I like to shoot down rumors. Well. <laughs> Can you think back when your first game in Tiger Stadium was as a coach's kid? And, and what was it like being the opponent? Oh, whew. Uh, my first game in Tiger Stadium. Not the first time in Tiger Stadium, but the first time I think my dad ever played against LSU was in, at Washington. Uh, we actually only lost by a touchdown or something like that. It was a long time ago. My first time being in Death Valley was actually a Saturday night. Uh, we were in, uh, we were at Bama. It was kind of touchy subject because it was the T.J. Yeldon screen. If you guys remember that, I mean now for me even, I mean because like I've always kind of been an LSU fan. So you know I'm from Lake Charles originally. You know I've always loved LSU. In fact, before we even went to Alabama, uh, the national championship year, before we knew that. 
my dad was going to take a job there. I had LSU jersey on in the Natus Championship. So that's a secret. Don't tell anybody. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that experience was crazy. Um, I actually remember, I think I was like 11. I think I was crying at halftime because uh, we were getting our, our butt kicked. Somehow we made a comeback, which is touchy for us. But like I said, you know, for me at that age, it was it was pretty cool being in that stadium. It was loud and definitely, definitely a, an experience for sure. So there's a lot of pressure, I'm sure, for you, right? But is it important to keep it fun as well? Kind of understand where you're at, who you are, mm -hmm. like time in your life kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I feel blessed, you know. Uh, God blessed me with an amazing opportunity. Uh, I always try to stay where my feet are. I get to play football for LSU every single day. and. Um, Ever since I was a kid, I've been walking around locker rooms and walking around buildings like this, just hoping and dreaming one day that I could be just like my dad's players. And the fact that I get to do that and get to experience that, uh, I think it makes me more well-rounded in the aspect of all I care about is us winning on Saturday. And um, it's it's a blessing. You know, I'm honored to wear the LSU jersey. Um, so there, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. That sounds a lot like Walker Howard, some of the things he would say, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, we hadn't talked a whole lot about him, but obviously he's very talented. Mm -hmm. but what are you seeing out of him in his you know, first camp? Yeah, he's a stud. Uh, he's going to be a really, really, really good player. And uh, you know, we're pretty good friends. It's been exciting to, to, to see him grow, um, even though uh, I kick his butt on the golf course. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, he, he's done a great job um, continuing to learn. And you know, I was in the same shoes last year. so. Anything I can do to help him, I try to, and um, it's just it's been good. So, what courses do you play? Uh, we play basically every course in the Baton Rouge area, to be honest. We actually went on a spree where like we were having summer workouts every morning, and we couldn't meet or anything. We would have we would have workouts, and the days we'd have practice, obviously we weren't golfing. But on our off days, I mean, we were golfing every day. So even LSU? Yeah, yeah, we played the LSU course. Uh, we went and played Webb, City Park, um, Santa Maria. Uh, there was one called Carter's Plantation, I think. That was probably my favorite. That that place was awesome, about 45 minutes away. But, yeah. What Tell me you about your offensive line just a little bit. Or did you have one? I'm sorry. Two more. Go. Oh, if you're asked why I shoot him, def <laughs> definitely a scratch golfer. Don't worry about that. Uh, definitely no bogeys. Nothing like that. <laughs> your offensive line, uh, you know, still coming together. How are they looking in front of you? They're doing a great job. Um, you know, different guys are getting plugged in different spots and, and things are rotating around trying to find chemistry. Um, but I think they're doing a great job. Coach Davis is the best. I mean, he's a stud. Um, he, uh, he, he gets them going. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's a different type of energy. You can see now they're, they're all coming out. They come out in the field at the same time. You know, they fist bump before every play. They've got this thing going on where they're together always. And um, it's boosted all their play. And, you know, I love each and every one of those guys. Those are my guys. All freshman year, my locker was in the lineman section. So, man, I, I loved it. You know, I got really close with them, and um, you know, they're they're balling. So, you ever had a head coach that gets in the weeds with you the way Brian does? No, honestly, I haven't, and uh, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, thing I love about it is, oftentimes people like to think of a head coach as somebody who just sits there and claps and just kind of like manages. I've heard people say he's like a CEO and. Yeah, he's, he's great like that. He has a great face of this program. But when we get on that field, I mean, it feels like he's somebody who's like, he feels like a QB trainer, like, yeah. you know, like that's what it feels like because he, he's so knowledgeable about our position and he works hand in hand with us every single day. It's something that I love because like that's supposed to be the head coach and, and he's over here coaching me and getting me better. Like, that's awesome to me. And, uh, you know, plus you add Coach Sloan to there and, and Coach Denbrock and we have a great support system, great coaching staff. So. It makes me feel really good going into practice. So, good. Yeah. Nice guy. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't have a QB coach last year, right? Uh, coach Pete. Oh, well, okay. he was the office coordinator.